Welcome to the Creators Initiative podcast, where we have a raw and authentic conversation about creating media to grow your business or personal brand. In today's episode, we are going to talk about, in detail, why good lighting is important to your content. Because, to put it simple, if you don't understand the importance of lighting for your content, no matter how much money you spend on a camera or you buy the new iPhone that can film ProRes RAW, your content will still look like you used a Nokia cell phone in 2004. That that might be an exaggeration, but yeah, it, it bad. okay. <laughs> but Three pixels. that's what I'm saying, like 380p. But it will look like absolute trash. <laughs> Ages. They sold phones. That was that was the selling Bro, point. Like 380p. 380p. 2k is not even a thing. 1k. Like, wow. guys, for real, and it's a thing. And I, I laugh because just yesterday. I posted like it. There was like a trend going on Instagram saying like post your oldest phone, like the oldest selfie in your phone, and mine was from an iPod Touch. I took a picture with an iPod Touch. And really? That, go go on that story. I probably will. I'll keep it and just be like this. This wow. This is this is three eighty p. That, I mean, that, that kind of keeps you up at night. <laughs> Look at that resolution. <laughs> That's why I did like a side by. If you looked at my phone, I had a side by side like recent versus like. Yeah, I see. It's still in so, your story. Yeah. Just tell my story. Check it out. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the day. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about the importance of lighting because, at the end of the day, spending that much money on a camera or like, because here's the thing, iPhone will like it's like my whole pitch was in the beginning here um, that iPhone was really like, hey, this new iPhone we can we can film music videos with it and it films in ProRes RAW, which granted, not your average person gonna know what ProRes RAW is, but even in the filming community, I'm just like, okay, it's, it films in ProRes RAW, but I still have to have all this lighting equipment and just all this extra stuff mm-hmm. to get that look. But Apple will keep, you know, toting that this this product will get you this result with, like, little no work, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, like, that's the intention that they have behind it, even though that's not true, but, like, just f- from the assumption, from what they say, it's like, oh, yeah, I j- all I just need is this iPhone, this $2,000 iPhone to create this high-quality content. Is it true? Because I used to sell mm-hmm. cell phones, mm-hmm. and I remember selling the iPhone. I think I think it was like the iPhone 9 or 10, but up until a certain level of, I guess, pixelation or something, your eye can't see. It can't differentiate, right? Amen. Yes, right? it's absolutely So they're right. really just selling just... That's like it, OLED yes. TVs and stuff. Like, honestly, there's a difference between OLED for sure. Like, mm-hmm. you can tell a difference. But 4K, 8K, all that stuff, it's just really being able to zoom in. Like, taking a picture and being able to blow it up and not lose quality. Oh, not that it's like a it? different quality. Yeah, that's okay. it. That's it. That's why, like, I shoot these podcasts in 4K because I can go take screen grabs from the podcast and still, and still looks have. still like a, mm-hmm. a great picture. So, okay. and I mean, it is still a picture. Like, when you film, it is a picture. It's just a bunch of pictures, motion yeah. picture, you know. Yeah. Um, so, so let's just let's get into it. I mean, I go on my rant about you know Apple and and just being very vague with their marketing because this is what we do. You know, it's up to you to figure out that mm-hmm. your stuff doesn't look like our stuff that we're toting. But whatever. Okay, so lighting will determine the overall look of your content. Okay, so for example, um, I have a couple YouTube videos coming out, or just one at least about buying a fluorescent softbox kit. Now, if you take that fluorescent softbox kit, softbox kit and place it 90 degrees from your face, like at an angle, well, not just like, you know, you got to be a little bit distance, but 90 degree angle from your face, you're going to have a clean and clear picture. Now, if you were to take a key light, a hair light, and practicals, um, you can have a creative look. You're going to still have that clean, clear look, but you now are going to have a creative look to um, your shot and your half depth, okay? And so I bring these two examples up because if you were to buy, let's say, um, the Sony A7C Mark II, it's, mm-hmm. a really, it's a really popular, like, hobbyist, but, like, still, like, semi-pro professional camera, and a lot of content creators use it. Um, and it's also a really cute camera if we're being just completely honest. You know, it's a really cute camera. You know, we love the we love the aesthetic. It's got a little silver yeah. at the top, black bottom, you know, it's great. Even I kinda want it, but I don't need it. But still, if you were to take that camera and not have any like knowledge about lighting, 
what what does a, a fluorescent softbox do to me at, for me at 90 degree angles and what does a hair light key light and practicals do for me then that camera that two thousand dollar camera looks no better than your iphone actually just 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 it really is just like you just pushed a button and mm-hmm. that's it and i have seen so many content creators go out and buy two thousand dollar cameras now granted it might be a write-off so that's cool we all about write-offs try not to pay them taxes later mm-hmm. It's an expensive write-off. If you don't know what you're doing, right. you're just going off just yeah. what everybody's doing, that makes no sense. You've got $15,000 of equipment you laying around, and you can't use not a mm-hmm. cent of it. Mm-hmm. Because you What's thought, the- oh. like, and, and, and unfortunately, and I'm saying this because this podcast today truly is mm-hmm. for somebody like me. Five years ago, I guess, when I went down the rabbit hole of lighting, of just like, oh, I did not, I had no idea it was that important. I did not know that it really dictated how my content would look. But the lighting that you did whatever, five years ago, six mm-hmm. years ago, you got the job done, mm-hmm. right? Mm, yeah. And you just progress and evolve. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of, I think that's what mm-hmm. we're trying to, you're trying to convey. Yeah. It's like, you don't have to start off with the 20,000 to 15,000, you know, mm-hmm. you know, you're pretty seasoned in this. So mm-hmm. you have a boatload of expertise and a lot of money and yeah. all this stuff. But yeah. um, a regular Joe like me, mm-hmm. Just what do you need to do to be just enough to be dangerous? Right. And so. That's the majority. Right. And so I would say within reason, I think, you know, a fluorescent softbox kit for $49 is great, Mm -hmm. especially to get started Um, and pairing that. But I think I'm hoping if like I'm not going off into a tangent, right, Um, that this is a very cohesive thought. But like to pair that $49 light with a $2,000 camera, no, don't do that use your iPhone, you know, the, the, the $2,000 camera that you already have in your pocket if you're going to get the $49 light, right? But if you were like, okay, I saw my content. I, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like the look of it. I'm, I'm really trying to replicate these other creators that I've seen. And I have seen creators out here that aren't have no desire to become, you know, a director, a DP of photography or director of photography or, you know, do anything in cinema, right? They just like their content to look a certain way. Mm-hmm then you would need to invest in a three-point light system, which is the your um, key light, your hair light, and your practicals. So, like, for instance, here in this room, this LED sign right here is what we call a practical, giving us that that nice, soft hue. Well, no, I wouldn't say soft hue. That's, that, that's another way that you can get that look. But it gives us that color. Like, well, what was I saying earlier when we were balancing the light in here? I said, do you like... That, um, that warmth, that warm mm-hmm. look, right? Okay, so let's let's keep let's keep the sign on, and let's use it as a practical to light this, the side of our face, but also use our overhead light here to make sure we get a whole, you know, a, 360 yeah, three sixty of, of light. Because yeah. last time it was really dark, like your yeah. side, you know, There's left side of your face. shades. If you have one light bounce, mm-hmm. you're not gonna have it on the other side, and it's gonna it's gonna look through the yeah. camera. It's yeah, yeah, and it's, it's mixed lighting is what we call it, and, and so it's like okay, it gives your it gives your shot character really. Mm-hmm. It gives it a creative look. Uh, whereas if you were to buy the forty nine dollar light, it's really just so that we can see you clearly. You know, like the light that you're provided in your room ooh, is terrible. And even when I used this same $49 light back in 2019, I think it was, it's night and day. And I, like I said, I have a YouTube video out that's coming out, if it's not already out, where you can see the difference between the guy who used the same light that I did, but I used it wrong. Mm-hmm. And then how my lighting or like how the look of my lighting has changed over the years since I really studied the art of lighting. And so it's just, I want to, hopefully I'm making it clear that like, okay, not only do you not need to go out here and spend $2,000 on a camera and not know anything about lighting, but also to know that like, okay, the $49 light is going to get me by. It's going to be able, I'm going to be able to create content and you're going to be able to see me. It's going to be clean. It's going to be professional. But if I was to dive a little bit deeper into the rabbit hole and understand a little bit more about lighting, like just just be focused on the three point light system of the hair light, key light, and practicals to give my give my look even more professional, creative look to it, then like okay, it would be worth me actually spending two thousand dollars on a camera and learning how to use this lighting and investing in that type of lighting. Um, so I hope that 
I hope that made sense. That's why I have you here definitely to be like, yeah, bro, you sense. lost me. I'm more so on the I'm more so the lighting is great, but because of course this episode is about lighting. But <laughs> if you can't shoot the content, mm-hmm. and if you can't make the content how you want it to do, mm-hmm. how can you use the lighting as your muse? Okay, I did this. I want it like this. Mm-hmm. I want to see it like this. Mm-hmm. So I'm a big replication of like I want it. I can't tell you, but mm-hmm. it's like I can point to a video. Mm-hmm. I do that to you a lot, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, that's my I mean, job, I, right? I, I, you speak it. I don't. Right. So I can give you, hey, I want it like that. Right. So you're like, oh, that's, they shot it like this. Yeah. That, that, oh, whatever they shot it like, I mm-hmm. want it just like that. Mm-hmm. Or I want it similar to that. Yeah. Um, video aesthetic. Like, mm-hmm. I send you podcasts. Stuff like I, I kind of want ours to mm-hmm. kind of look similar to this or kind of around that realm because like to me it's, it's aesthetically pleasing to me to look at and mm-hmm. we do it a lot so it's mm-hmm. like you may not have like the average Joe's like me I don't I can't speak it I can't go to a um, a lighting place or a podcast studio Sam music place and be like mm-hmm. I want this mm-hmm. I can show you hey can, is there anything that looks similar to this to mm-hmm. where I want to project just like this mm-hmm. and you know but if you can't shoot the content then you right. know what I'm saying like what are we doing Right. And to get the lighting right. Right. And and I think that's like yeah, that's, yeah, I'm trying like my best like not to go into cuz like for me mentally like I'm trying to think of like okay, if I was hearing this for the first time, would it make sense to me? Like what are you talking about mm-hmm. as far as lighting mm-hmm. and like how is this going to benefit me? And so like I f- hopefully I'm going through like okay, like no, don't spend that $2000 if you don't know anything about lighting. Uh but also to in my like here in my outline of just like how how could you I guess let's just give an example. Um, for those who are athletes, I don't feel like you don't have to be an athlete, but if you're an athlete and you athlete watch mentality. athlete mentality and you watch, um, you know, I am athlete, um, the paper route mm-hmm. that how they how, or, or better yet, let's just, let's just talk about a popular one. I feel like everybody watches either Joe Rogan's experience or um, the breakfast club, breakfast club or Joe Budden's podcast. Right. And so Joe Rogan, for the most part, um, his podcast is pretty much probably lit like ours. They got an overhead um, main light mm-hmm. source that lights just the, the whole room. And then they have probably practicals, with the LED lights that kind of give off, you know, give off those little like depth, showing depth in the shot or just something that can light the side of the face with a different color. So it's very basic. Very simple. It's like very this. simple. <coughs> right. And podcasts, for the most part, are pretty simple. Right. Um Joe Budden's podcast is filmed in a very white room with the background of New York. Sometimes what we call highlights is blown out, so you can't even see that he is in New York, and sometimes he's not, and that's has actually nothing to do with lighting, and that's an indie filter, and we'll talk about that here in a bit. Um, but that one pretty much is basic. He probably has an overhead main light that's just lighting the whole place so that the camera sensors can see it because that is something I don't think people know is when you buy a camera, because you can, I can see you clearly in this room with the light on. Your camera cannot see that, mm. and so that's another thing too of why you invest in lighting is, be, or you don't use the lighting that is provided in your room because right. the camera cannot see you. Mm. And if you have to do something, what we call um, bump the ISO or increase the ISO, you're gonna get something called digital noise. Which the best way to can say it is like make sure. It makes your picture look muddy, I guess, look pixelated. looks a little, well, better yet, How if you go that? on my story, you'll see the pixelated photo of me in my bathroom from 2000 freaking 10 on my iPhone, my iPod touch photo. You, you, that, you really want that? You want the people to It's okay masses? because I, I, that's what I look like back then. This okay. is what I look like now, up. okay? <laughs> so it's okay. Now, if I still look like that, maybe not. That Girl, I don't. You look close to it. I don't. Oh, you're right. I'm a vampire. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like literally like 15 year difference. So, but that 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 like that lighting alone is like a different color lighting. It gives off like this yellow, ugh, you know, like muddy look. And so it's just like knowing that, like, I'm y'all. I'm trying my best not to go down a rabbit hole here. And get really like nerded out over color mm-hmm. and no, like I color won't let you. Okay, thank you. you. So I'm you. just trying to be like, just I'm trying to tell you Free? enough to be dangerous. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> the that's, knowledge that's, that you need that to know. Is it just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> enough to start off, and then once you get to a level of complacency, 
and you just kind of just evolve. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Like that's right now, let's just focus on this right here. Like, you know, let's just let's just let's focus on you know the three ingredients right now, and then we'll we'll, we'll go we'll, all three of them. All three of them, okay. And so, if you look at um, who is another part of that paper route, paper route has this like oh I love the paper route. If I'm being honest, they have an LED wall playing behind them, and then I know they have main lights overhead, and it's just like. But the guy that's like over in the corner that kind of like is like there, like he beads in the questions. Mm -hmm. He has like this like very like dream look over in the corner, and that's motivated by lighting. Mm. Um, so I would think just like off the top of my head, if I seen like his, I think that would be probably a softbox, a big softbox, which is something also too that we need to understand, um, and something that I'm trying to remind myself too. The bigger the source the softer the light. So these big, huge soft boxes that are like 40 inches in diameter or whatever is going to cast a very soft light and also it's going to be really close to the subject. It's like you can't see our light, in, mm-hmm. but it's really close to us, right? And so, but the bigger the source, like this is this is not that big, but it's enough to light this table and us here evenly, right? right. But his is going to be close to his face, um, at 90 degrees, kind of give you that shadow look too. And also there's some there's some lens filters involved and things like that. So I always try to be transparent and be like, it's just not the light. There's some other stuff that they got to do too, but let's just focus on the light here for a second. And so it um, so it's a big, it's a big soft box, close to his face, 90 degrees, right? Giving this kind of like moody vibe. Now, was it done on purpose? I don't know. But it's a moody, cool vibe as he's like, you know, giving in the questions, and then it goes back you know, to them, and there's like fully lit, you know. What I've learned about the podcast people, people treat lighting like their brand, mm-hmm. like how mm. you just, like how yes. you just said something about the the dreamy. Mm-hmm. That's their brand of lighting. Mm-hmm. I mean, they don't have a copyright on it, but yeah. it's their brand. But it, it's like with the Joe Budden and stuff, mm-hmm. and the Joe Rogans. Mm-hmm. It's a clear distinction of both of of the podcast, but it's like. Mm-hmm. Their lighting, the Joe Budden podcast that I frequent a lot, mm-hmm. um, it's it's a like you said, it's an overhead. It's a it's mm-hmm. a very white light. Mm-hmm. It's a very, very bright, very like bright. That. It's very like hey, this, these are the homies, blah yeah. blah blah. And then Joe Rogan is very uh, dark, night, very dark, and like yeah. in a dungeon type, like mom's basement conspiracy. There you go. Like, it's <laughs> it just emits conspiracy <laughs> theories. Like we're I'm going serious. to die. But it, I feel like he wants to. I feel like he That's wants that. Yeah. But their lighting is their brand. Mm-hmm. I mean. Aside from him been doing it for like fifteen years, right? Seven years before anybody ever like he started. didn't even change it either. But, but it's like a very kind of. But that's his. That's his fan base. That's his core. Mm-hmm. So your lighting is very much so your brand. I'm looking at mm-hmm. like just it's from very a person, important. you know, coming in and yeah, very new to the game. So. It's very intentional. Yeah. And and so, um, and and like I said, like yes, this is important. This is this is. I mean, it's the title of the podcast, and it's very intentional. But also too, is that um, to know like okay, how do I get that look? It's not simply going out and buying this expensive light and be like, mm-hmm. this one light is going right. to give me that look. Like, I wish it were that simple, but if anything, um, I, I want here today and in future podcasts and even on the channel just be not so transparent, like not so transparent that I overwhelm you with all this information, but just being like realistic. Like, Would there be something, Leah, that you could give to somebody to say, hey, look, I want to start something at what you have. Mm-hmm. I may not be at the... Um, level that you are creatively and kind of just the knowledge, mm-hmm. but give me what all you have, mm-hmm. but give me at a level one. Yes. Yes. Give me at a level mm-hmm. three. Right. Like just simple and yeah. plain. Is I'm going to tell you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's and that's what hopefully I'm doing. So I just want to keep me, <laughs> keep me on topic, okay? Because yeah. yeah, I, I will you. be all like, no, you got to have Calvin temperatures mm-hmm. and you got to have a 600D light and da-da-da this and da-da that and yeah, right. that. Like, <laughs> Can can I get away with the forty nine dollar mm-hmm. white light? And I'm like, well, yeah, you can, but it's not gonna look like that. But you you definitely can. And let's just put it at ninety degrees and let's start there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, um, step one, um, you know, let's say if you were lighting your own podcast, um, mm-hmm. I would definitely recommend that forty nine dollar that forty nine dollar. And I, guys, I'm so sorry if I did go on a rant. And now I'm coming back and be like refocus, you know, guys. I might be a little bit nervous. It's my like third time out here. Sorry, it's my third time out here. I'm here, a little, little dog. Big dog got you. I'm being a big dog, little dog. That's yeah. why I'm out here. Um, but no, I I would say, um, I would give two two 
two, it, I guess. References. Like. Yeah, references. So you have options. We mm-hmm. always love options. Um, so the first one definitely would be the fluorescent softbox kit. And they sell that on Amazon. It's a $49. $49.99 is actually more high-tech than it was when I bought it back in the day. They gave me a light bulb and a switch. Mm. I said, well, dang. They'll figure it out. Well, dang. Mm. <laughs> now they give you three bulbs and a, and, a, and a remote control where you can control it. I said, well, dang, this is fancy. I did not have that. Like, you talk about don't break this bulb because that's it. Like, I can't mm. use it if I don't have this bulb. Now they have so a little crazy. LED you're, you're, <laughs> Like, it makes me feel old, but it was not that like, long. You're like... 60 back in my day. What do you mean back in <laughs> but it was like 2018? Three, yeah, literally. It's like three years ago. That's but crazy. They changed. They yeah. changed it up. And I was like, mm-hmm. all right. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but you made did with what you had, right? I did. I did. So, I yep. made I made it do what it did yeah. and did what it do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, it was uh, whatever, you know. <laughs> that's not that's not harp on that. Yeah. <laughs> but You made did. What you what did. You oh, no, you made it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, so, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> we wild, okay, yeah. we had living. That's what I said. That's the great thing about podcasts. This is a dry run, but yeah, I they didn't even give me that, so I was like, well, dang, they're all high tech now. So yeah, you would you would use that and don't do like me. Your girl took this forty nine dollar light and set it smack like right in like right behind the camera like right over me like wasn't even trying to get myself a flattering light because i had no idea i was like that's just all i need right yeah just set it up and just put it you know it needs to see me boy let me tell you what? and it makes me mad because there's a video out of a guy using the same freaking light and his stuff looks 10 times like half of your face was in the upside down no it's no it was just awful it was just the look of it was just terrible especially compared to the guy who knew how to use it mm-hmm. by just literally setting it 90 degrees and closer and up higher, like high key light. Mm-hmm. And I was cracking up because I was like, so you're telling me if I just positioned that better and up higher, my content would look like 10 times better. I mean, exactly what, what I just said. Like you have to it's shoot like, the content said, to well, see what you want first and see the lighting, yeah. I feel like. And then be like, oh, uh, let me adjust it. Right. You can't adjust anything without having something to reference. But I will say you if I didn't to. go down the rabbit hole and like looked at my content and looked at other content and said like, that doesn't look like what it said it was going to look like. Mm-hmm. So it just kept going back to the drawing board. But it was funny to know that, like, wow, actually you really could get away with a $49 <laughs> light, so there's that. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're like me and looked at it and like, I still don't like that. Like, I mean, it's getting, it's doing the job. It's doing what it do. But yeah. I'm not a fan. Then I would say that's when you just, let's just let's just start learning about three-point light lighting. Okay, maybe not even three-point lighting, but let's just, let's go out and let's buy, you know, a, uh, I think maybe it's a hundred dollar 20 inch. Um, it might be, is that a delay right there? It's what fine. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. But it's like, boy, but it's like, it's a 30, like a 30 inch soft box. Cause like I said, the bigger the source, the softer the light, unless you just want a little bit harsh. It's, it still works. Mm-hmm. I, I shot one of, uh, one of my YouTube ch- uh, videos with a smaller soft box and it still worked, but I didn't like how bright it was cause I kind of wanted a soft not moody look, but a little muted. So I was like, you let a me moody go. girl. Yeah, okay. it all comes back to the sultry. Oh, there's a problem. <laughs> it's another podcast for another day. Right, another podcast. But yeah, you are a moody, sultry right. kind of person. You like a very dim. Right. You're gonna always come back to that. So yeah, and, it's, and I feel like that's my brand. That's my vibe. So mm-hmm. that's what I want. That's what I want to do. So I was like, okay, I need a bigger light source. But like I said, going back to the drawing board, but. Knowing that ahead of time, I would say somebody who's like, I want it to be a little bit more creative and I want it to look to look be a little softer, then you would get something like a 30 inch, I believe, a 30 or 20 inch soft box. And I think I might link some stuff in the show notes and stuff so people oh, know. Yeah. Um That'd but yeah, but yeah, get something like that and then really just you need a sixty D light. You don't need something super powerful if you're just lighting one person or yourself. Um, and there's the Amaran 60D. I love that thing. It has an app and everything. And it's like, I think 149, maybe $199. And a 60D light, it, that's yeah. in the, in the uh, realm of, of expertise. That's like beginner, intermediate? Yeah, right. that's beginner. Okay. Yeah, because like the the, the pow- more powerful the light is just because you're lighting bigger spaces. Right. Or you're needing more power, more control. Because okay. 60D, like you, you pretty much, like what our light here, we have a 220B light here. And it's like at two, three percent power. A sixty D light would be at like this right here would probably be at twenty, thirty percent its power. Right. So because it's just 
60 d 60 watts mm-hmm. i guess um so it's just one of those things where if you need more power and you need more like flexibility mm-hmm. you want a bigger light but it's a small space we're trying to get started you know want a little bit more control so that 60 d would have been perfect for this uh yes and no it just i wanted more control like i wanted to play with it more mm-hmm. So that's why, yeah, I know. Go, but I, look, I, this is what control. I do for a living. So why the heck am I over here going to do right. like halfway show up? No, what, for, what I'm saying is like just but how yeah. how we look in the podcast. The yeah. people kind of rant and rave; they love it. Mm-hmm. You could do that. You could accomplish that with the 60D beginner if you wanted to start. Yeah, or, or somewhere something that, right? something close to it. Okay. I always so always like the... it won't be exactly like that because mm-hmm. like expertise and stuff like that. But pretty close. Yeah. It's going to look decent. <clears throat> I'm always going to say it looks decent. And then um, and also we used it in the last one, but you saw it was a little dark though. We mm-hmm. used that 60D last time, but it was dark. The last episode was dark. So I was like, oh, let me get a little bit more power so I have a little bit more control. Um, but then, so you have... You have you still have some of all of your, like, some of your old equipment still? Like, yeah. That you just, you yeah, see? I still have it, yeah. Do you, do you use it? <laughs> no. Probably, I, just, I should yeah. probably do a giveaway or something. Um, <laughs> probably should do a For giveaway. All your lighting and stuff? Yeah, well, it's definitely ones I don't mm-hmm. use. But sometimes, I'll say this, when it comes to lighting, you can never... There's, I, there honestly has never been a time where it's like I bought a light and I'm like, I never use that. You're going to find it for something. Right? Yeah. There's like a hair light, a practical, like sense. bouncing it off yeah. the wall, you know, you know, product photography. Like you're going to be able to use it, which is the great thing about lighting. I think that's why it's so expensive because it's like you can always find a way to use it or light something. Um, but, yeah, having like a 60D and then obviously you have to have your light stand, but you can have like. Newer sells like two packs of stainless steels on an Amazon for like sixty nine dollars, and something small like the sixty D, and something small as like the thirty or twenty inch softbox is not a lot of weight, so you don't have to worry about it like falling over. But still get a sandbag just in case because you don't want that problems. Mm-hmm. Um, but having that, and then like even like the the episode or the the reels that I've filmed in my office, um, that's a great example of practicals. I had a soft box at 90 degrees high and then i had little led panel little boxes on my shelves and stuff like that to separate me from the background and that's what we call practicals so practicals are not only your led light giving you like this nice you know warm to the side of uh, what uh, right left side of our faces yeah i don't know my just i don't <laughs> you put me on the spot i don't know where <laughs> what side or left or right of this okay so you, you <laughs> Help us sister out. This is on the side of my face. (laughs) Explaining what I do is hard. On this side? On this side? Yeah, for the people who watch and just see me struggle, like... (laughs) Your left, my right stuff, I ain't going to hold you at all. You just confuse me. Like, my left... Right, so I was like, my bad. I don't know. This one thing that I'm working on, and you just get better with every upload, is trying to explain what I do without, like, not stuttering, but just being like, I don't know. I just know that, like... I put it above me a little bit, like at a 90 uh, and degree. Just, and they be emitting some stuff. That right, make, yeah. It look good. It look look good. good. I can't really explain it. I just like it. <laughs> like, like, I think it's light or something. It's light or something. It's a little warm, I think. Is that what you want? Tungsten? Tungsten? It's not the tungsten. It's blue, blue. <laughs> it's a cool, it's cool, <laughs> little cool vibe. Right. Something. I don't know. I just yeah. like it. <laughs> well, that sounds like me, so. I got I got all the I got all the excuse. I like I said I'd be loving watching people doing right lighting now. tutorials, bro, and they'd be really like just got this I whole mean, computer just, board, and right? All right. The I'm like I don't know gadgets and colors and yeah, I don't know. So let's, let's show them a little bit about the, what we got going on. Thing right this now. is not a podcast about audio, but uh, we'll, it will be in the future because it's actually trending, and that will you know that's definitely a way yeah. to get the stuff you know going. So I'm trying to stay on topic. We got hey, we, we hit the 30 minute work. mark. Um, so yeah, uh, um, yeah, that's my timer. So, um, so yeah, that is, uh, that's what I would do, you know, like to get the look in the beginning, like the beginner, definitely the $49 one, just understand Mm -hmm. that you just really focused on just making sure the camera can see you and it's just clean and, you know, give you some distance between you and the background. But by the way, guys, the YouTube channel actually has episodes where I go like physically show you how to do this because it's really hard trying to explain this on a podcast like a podcast feels more of me ranting about it and telling you why it's important and then you need to go watch the episode where i talk about fluorescent softbox or i talk about practicals rather than me just you hear me rant and rave about why it's important because think about it, it like this like with the podcast we give you it's like a shopping cart we give you the shopping cart items you click it and then you look into and see what it actually does, which mm-hmm. is with her tutorials. Right, you go we're home and you give use you everything it. Everything that we have. I mean, because <laughs> right. it's a podcast. Go right. buy we it. We only can give you so much. And then I'm gonna tell you how to use there it you go. later. With the tutorials. Yeah. 
Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. This That's is our, it. Um, audio shopping cart. This audio shopping cart. And so one thing though, I do want to say, um, I'm going to end it on this one is the difference. Well, just know though that right now this is what we call control lighting. This is me being able to control the lighting. And obviously, some people, if you're a vlogger, because I love content where people go out and about teaching me something. You don't have to do that. But if you want to change up the scenery, you don't want your you know, content to be get stale or anything like that, you go out and about teaching somebody something. So if you're in a coffee shop, you can't just be, I mean, you can, but I don't know why you want to, but you can't be just rigging up lights trying to get good lighting and stuff like that. You've got to use what's there. So how do you, you go about doing that? Um, and that, like, guys, is its own, <laughs> its own podcast, and its own, um, um, yeah, its own, its own video. But just know though that mm-hmm. like, this is controlled lighting. What we have here on the podcast, and what you usually see when people do talking heads and they're talking, and then when they go out and about, they know a little bit about natural lighting and how to mm-hmm. use natural lighting to their advantage. You know, like say if we were to film something at night. I would use a street lamp, like a street light, or maybe an LED. So, like, say, you know, if you're here, if you're from Nashville, you know about Nashville. There's Printer's Alley. Love Printer's Alley because they got LED lights everywhere, LED signs everywhere, and you can use those to light your subject. Then you get this moody, like retro, like what's that? Was it Road Runner? It. No, it's not Road Runner. It's uh, Blade Runner twenty twenty forty four. The new one. That's the, you get those vibes. Like you get the the retro, like those vibes. I okay. Love it. Neon, yeah. So, so knowing that, like having that knowledge, just you know, knowing like, okay, if I'm out at night, I can use street lights as like my lighting source. I might not be super, be able to be super creative. I'm gonna have probably some shadows. You can't see my face, but it's kind of cool and like mystique. Um, but then like you know, choosing to film early in the morning or right at sunset, so you have golden hour. You know, we always love those pictures back in the day of golden hour because you know. It's, they warm they're warm Mm -hmm. you know and then blue hour in the morning because of the sunrise so all your pictures are blue but filming or photographing you know in the middle of the day is like a no-no because it's just washed out like your image is just so no it's just so bright and so that's when you really do need to know your setting now you can turn on auto and it'll be decent or anything like that but if it's like if it's like something like because i mean i've seen people vlog and this is this is honestly this is where it kind of like it's a little bit of a pet peeve for me, is I've seen these creators who have a lot of money and who spend a lot of money on their cameras because you know they make the mistake of going in their mirror with their camera and I'm like girl no she didn't spend two thousand dollars on that camera and she got it in auto, she really got it out here in auto but then again I'm like that is a lot to learn if you don't use it in auto but then I was like why'd you get the two thousand dollar one when you could have got the six hundred dollar one? If you're going to use auto. Yeah. And so I was like, because it's not going to change anything. And honestly, you know, in our society and in in just in marketing, we will sell something with this intention of like, it's simple. Because like, we only got, we only got 60 seconds of your attention to sit over and tell you, yeah, buy this $2,000 camera and it will help you create content. But they don't tell you anything about S log. They don't tell you anything about five, you know, flat color profiles metering mode and make sure your your spot you know your shot is overexposed or evenly exposed or underexposed if you're trying to get a look or if you're trying to go in post-production and add a coloring in or a LUT or you know rec 709 and, and go in davinci resolve well, see well, right now everybody's well, like what yeah, like, you done lost they, me yeah, why would they it's exactly you get lost and then you get sidetracked on the ultimate thing you want to do is make the content right. and make it great and make it just look good right it's a lot and that's but i'm saying like i want to be transparent and be like yeah I got you. Unfortunately, that's what you're going to have to do to make it look good. Now, granted, though, Sony has been coming out with cameras that have the the these flat color profiles that are already like baked into the picture. I'm trying to. I'll remember. I'll do a video about that camera. But what we want to do, I I feel like I feel like what people want, not even what we want to do. What people want is like just a base. Mm -hmm. So then, when you have a solid foundation, Mm -hmm. it's more easier to build off that solid foundation. Whether just Giving this, that, third, fourth, fifth, because it's like, oh, I don't even want to do it no more. You're right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? So if you give the low level beginner base, yeah. the base is everything. Yeah. What you ultimately need to know day one, yeah. build on that. And then whatever you just said, arithmetic, whatever that, whatever that was, um, then they can, it's easy to grasp because they yeah. have the base. We have the base. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. I'm speaking of me too, like no, I, you're right. Because I want to learn how to do this stuff too. I mean, right. I'm like, so wait, like, what did you I just need, say? Yeah, I need a base. So it's like, okay. Okay. So a reference point, basically, like you saying all this, it connects to that. You remember we talked? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. All right. You know what I'm saying? Just so, a little bit of here and there. Yeah, so the level, the base is everything for people. I think if we leave from this episode today, right. I think what I need you to say is that it's okay to use that forty nine dollar softbox fluorescent kit. You but. Yep. 90 degree angle, set it up high yep. above your head, Manipulate 90 degree it, yep. angle, and in your footage, if you're using a camera or you're using your iPhone, it's going to look good. Right. It's going to look decent. Boom. Okay. That's it. And if you want to get a little bit creative, all right, well, let's talk about that in another podcast. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that in another YouTube let's build, video. Let's, let's build your let's base. Start, let's, let's start with that $49 one. Let's but I do want to say, though, I yeah. do want to say you better not go. I better not see you out here with a $2,000 camera, though. With that forty nine dollar light, I'm gonna say that right now. You better use your iPhone. Well, guys, if 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 your budget allows you, I don't do it. I mean, do it, yeah. But like, I'm just I mean, saying, I'm if not, you think if you I spend two, keep on camera. And not, <laughs> I'm not, but 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 don't think if you yeah. spend two thousand dollars. I hope I'm 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 driving this point yeah, home. You don't have to have that. You tube, spend yeah. that two thousand gotcha. dollars thinking that you're going to get this look. Like what you see here on this podcast right now. If you spend that two thousand mm-hmm. dollars, you're gonna get that look. And it's like, baby, no. No, and, no, no. And guys, I'm behind, I'm behind this stuff right here. I see all the like, a lot of this stuff is manipulation. Straight up, she she sets this like it takes 45 minutes just to manipulate the angles and stuff. We're not in the biggest room. It may look like it, but we're not. Like she sets this stuff up to wide cameras, the angles, the lenses, and stuff that she's teaching me. It's all about manipulation, bro. So, right, and so that's why transparency of just like no, and and I'm just saying this because I was that person who's like, right. if I buy this camera. If I use, if I, cause I literally used, like I went to my 401k for, you know, I had 401k for 2.5 seconds when I had a corporate job and I took the last bit of my 401k and bought a camera thinking like, if I buy this one camera, it's going to look, I'm going to get this look. Literally. The Back then my camera, you are you're actually <laughs> 20% off the 401k. Literally. <laughs> and I'm like laughing because literally what I see now, like the yeah. content that I'm making now mm-hmm. When I bought that camera back then, by the way, I don't even have that camera anymore. I sold it. Was it a white one? Mm-mm. It was a black one that I bought. It was a 4K camera. Oh, okay. It was like A7, A6700 or something. And I'm laughing because like literally like back then, like what I was cre- like what I'm creating now, what I, used, I showed you today, like clips, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I believed with my whole heart, like my whole heart. That I no, I'm sorry. Let me just stop because people who are not watching think I'm about really crying. <laughs> but my whole heart thought she be playing. She just be playing. <laughs> but that, my whole heart, I thought that camera's gonna do it. Mm-hmm. I buy this camera, like I take my last my last money because I quit the job, yo. My I, last money. I last my last dime. I quit the job. I didn't have nothing backed up. I went. I went to the what was it? It was the, the it was 2019 mm-hmm. and. Um, the uh, NFL draft came here. I spent my last time at the NFL draft. Had a good time. No you job. Betting on yourself. You were girl. You were betting on yourself. <laughs> and I took out that four one k and bought that camera. Yeah. Cause y'all could take the car if you want to. I only made three payments on it. Go ahead and take it. It uh, is what it is. Oh, all right. Uh-uh. And I bought that camera thinking no, no. I can make the content I'm making today. And look, five years later, I was like, oh. That was backwards. No. <laughs> that was now, granted, I've been doing this for 10 years total, but when right. I was like taking it real seriously, I'm like, listen, mess, let's drop it. I was just like, this is going to do it. This is the camera that's going to change my life. Ooh, that's dangerous, guys. Don't do that. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to talk to me like, babe, no, please don't do it. Don't freaking do it. And mm-hmm. if you do it, just know you're going to have to learn a lot before that camera is going to make a difference, okay? Mm-hmm. It's going it's going to give you a look like you want, but you you're not going to be able to push a button and you got to definitely leave auto o- alone and go into manual. It's scary, but it can be done. All right. That's it for me. That's it for us. I hope you got something for it. Um, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with a friend cuz sharing is caring. And if you're on podcast, Spotify, Apple, Follow us, you know, we're going to have more, more of this stuff. I hope, I don't think I was really funny in the beginning, but I was at the end, and that's all that matters, because I got comfortable. I think I was just, because I was sweating so much, setting this stuff up, I got out of my, my groove, but now I'm I'm back. You're good. you catching your, we catching our stride, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, we'll catch you in the next episode. Um, Have a great day. Rodriguez, vote. You, yes, the real estate, sir. And hey, if you are a small bit, well, not, well, no offense. If you have a small business, you can totally do this. But if not, 
you got a business, baby, and you need content that converts, you already know who to hit up, Alpha Media LLC. We create content that converts so you don't have to. All right. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.